We just arrived yesterday in St. Louis, Senegal, and I wanted to show it to you. Um, it's a very interesting place. We are actually not in the tourist area on the main island. We are actually um, across the river, across a bridge. It's like spitting distance, five minute walk to get to the main island, but it's a whole lot more affordable and um, honestly, a whole lot more interesting, I think. I don't know, I haven't, I went to the main island yesterday um, and it's just, there's two strips of land. It's like there's the mainland and then there's a strip that's San Luis, that's the tourist area. And then there is this other little strip and that's this side, which is more fishing village. So uh, let me flip the camera and, oh gosh, there it is. Um, I'll just show you around a little bit. Um, there's the bridge. That is main island San Luis. As you can see, all the, the boats and that for shipping. I'm not going to walk you a really long way because I know that gets boring when there's nothing happening. So you got the guys working over there on the boat. You got the horse having lunch. Um, I'll be honest, our arrival here was a little rough. We got here, we had started, we woke up at 3.30 in the morning to get, we were at Lock Rose and we had to get a bus back to Dakar to get on a, to, to, we got to get a ride back to Dakar to get on a bus by 7 a.m. We arrived here around almost one o'clock and nothing was open for food. Uh, for whatever reason, we were having trouble getting lunch. We hadn't eaten all day hardly except for a few snacks and we were tired and hot and hungry. So it was a rough arrival yesterday. And as I say, I'm just being honest, sometimes it goes that way. Um, one of the things here that doesn't always go well is the kids can pretty much come up to you if they say hi for anything. They're just asking you for money, um, which is probably my least favorite thing around here. Uh, it happens a little bit all over, but here it's been more pronounced. I will say my first glance, especially at this side of the river, has been, it looks a, short of the river part and the fishing village part, but this place looks a lot, here, let me swing you around. That's a, just the road along the side of our hotel. Um, it looks a lot like Mauritania, and this is like the last stop before you get to the Mauritanian border. So that completely makes sense. But um, if you read our blog posts uh, at teamhazardridesagain.com, because um, I was doing more blogging than vlogging then. Um, I'm getting along a little better here. Uh, they still have that, that no stress Senegal attitude here. So even when communication is a little challenging, uh, everyone's nice and patient and we work it out. And they're very good at understanding language. And we've got a nice little baby goat. Got a lot of little baby goats. Tim and I actually always see it as a good sign when there's goats near our uh, hotel. We love hearing goats near our hotel. It's, it's a good sign that it's a good neighborhood. It's active, it's, but it also means it's local. Um, we like cushy tourist stuff once in a while. We just came from a slightly cushy tourist place. Um, but uh, sometimes you need that kind of break. But to be honest, ultimately, oh, uh, we, we actually like more local neighborhoods. So, this is just literally walking along the riverfront. Um, I'll slow down a little, try and get it less shaky. I, even having the tripod in that, oh, they're singing. Don't know if you can hear it because I have the mic on. They don't always like being filmed. Hmm. Um, but they are in a touristy area, so eh. I'll, I'll do it a little bit. But um, as I say, this is also an obviously a, a working area. And so if you come up to San Luis, I'll tell you that the distances are very short. I had chosen, when I chose hotels, I was looking and somewhere on the mainland side, and it's like, oh, you gotta go all the way across the bridge to get to the fun stuff. And uh, I didn't realize that the distances were so short. So if you're anywhere in San Luis, the distances are very short. Um, the distances uh, are nothing. You know, it costs a buck to get from one side to the other, less than a buck, uh, US of course, but so, and it's walkable. 
that's the thing is even if you didn't want to pay for a cab it's walkable <laughs> so um this is the the far side as i say and this is more fishing village than um than than touristy side it's also not the mainland side i think the mainland side is a little more city-like not heavy city though i think i was expecting it to be a little more uh closer to dakar like a small city small version of it but it's not but we're gonna find out um i'm looking for some things and so when i go looking for them we'll see i know i'm sort of rambling but i'm not actually i'm <laughs> there's the idea that the looking for oh and horses and all that you gotta watch out for the cow pies um but like my sandals broke for four years of heavy use in world travel and my sandals my awesome Teva sandals broke I love Teva I'm not criticizing them for they've been breaking um they've been through heck and back but um so I got to see if I can find some epoxy to try and fix them I also will buy a pair of local sandals uh because I can probably get some fairly cheap to substitute um I will say the other thing about San Luis is they do a horse cart ride around Old Town San Luis. Not on this, on a, on a more comfortable horse cart. But they do a, um, they do a, uh, a tour ride around San Luis. We're going to do that. We're going to show you that live. Um, I'm gonna, hoping to show that to you live. And um, so uh, watch out for that one. And I'm kind of just letting you look a little bit. I said I wasn't going to walk too far. But this is a new path to me. As I say, we just got in yesterday. I managed to find us pizza last night. And um, hang on, we got traffic. We got traffic. Um, and uh, so we're doing that. And there's a big bird sanctuary up here. It's a little ways out. But that's a tour group, a tour type thing. Uh, where they have like they say it like a beach full of pelicans and big birds and things that hopefully tim will be able to see so hey, I'll put him away. um so as i say i'm talking to you and i'm sort of letting them think that i'm doing selfie as opposed to the camera turning the other way <laughs> um so you can get a good look at what it looks like around here and uh so that's our two big things is to do the horse cart tour around main uh, old town San Luis and to go up to the big bird sanctuary and I hope to do live from the bird sanctuary no promises we may not have signal I should be able to do it from old town San Luis we'll have videos on all of it ultimately um, <laughs> so as you can see over there the bridge the second bridge it's just over there so in the time that i've walked from one bridge to the other you know and i'm right there and i'm not going to take you all the way across with me we'll do that another day i'll show you the other side i won't take you across i'll just show you the other side when we get there but i kind of wanted to give you first impressions um and this is a really interesting active town and it's a saturday so the roads are fairly active and i always like to show you things when they're fairly active um it's no fun to show you when there's there's nothing going on three-point turn in a horse cart <laughs> I do see some of the carts just transporting people like local people and I'm not sure that the tour carts don't do that sometimes too but um, so at this point I am going to flip the camera and do my sign off and I know I'm not supposed to say that because now everyone clicks off the video right now I'm just gonna say thanks for joining me this has been a first look at San Luis. Am I getting that horse in there? Yeah, I'm getting the horse in there. You can look at the horse too. <laughs> and uh, there's gonna be more stuff coming from here. And I'm trying to get the other things edited for all the other stuff we've been doing and all that good stuff. So keep tuning in and check it out. And we will see you next time.